Yeah, yeah. You, you make an astute observation that in fact the Atlantic slave trade has received much more uh, play in, in in the media and in in uh, in, in books in academia than the uh, Arab slave trade or specifically Asian slave trade. But that may have to do with the fact that America is a dominant economic power and American narratives are much more uh, accessible. But increasingly as uh, Asian states begin to evolve into economic powers on their own, questions do rise because now lately people have been doing uh, Chinese history more and more. Uh, but again, what you're talking about is a problem of, of the school system here. They don't teach those things, and North America they don't teach those things. But in Asia they do teach those things. I know that in Vietnam, I found out they teach about the Roman War with the Africans, but they don't teach it in Africa. You know, so so it depends on on, on the ideology of the government in place. But in general, because African Americans have such an overwhelming amount of economic power in the world, their stories are still uh, very important. And, and are circulating because they have the means to make the films, they have the means to, to go and, uh, and write the books and publish. Whereas the blacks in Asia today, still many of them don't have any, any, any of those resources, or if they do have, they're such a minority there, uh, and that's a problem. They're, they're a minority for two reasons. A, there, there, there hasn't been such a big taboo against intermarriages within Asia with blacks. So many of them have been absorbed, integrated. Uh, there has also been the situation that many of the people who were taken to Asia, especially men, were castrated. There were, they were castration centers uh, in, in, the, in the slave markets where uh, the slaves the captives, the African captives who were male, were then turned into eunuchs, so they could not pass on their genes. Whereas the women were then married to the Arabs or Asian, uh, and so their children after a generation no longer look African. So, so that the, the, whereas in the U.S., while there was some castration going on, most of the farms, the plantations, wanted reproductive blacks because, you know, at some point they did outlaw importation of slaves and it was very expensive to import as opposed to having start blacks uh, reproduce uh, and then again of course in North America there was that taboo against miscegenation against mixing of races so that the black population in the US has remained somewhat fairly intact in terms of its uh, biology right uh, so that there's a population that's visibly black in terms of biology and in terms of culture whereas that's missing in Asia. Uh, Chinese blacks are too scattered uh, and it's easy to pick them off and, and integrate them or, or expel them. Uh, the blacks in Asia now, uh, there's two kinds. There's the blacks or indigenous blacks there, such as the Andaman, uh, the Islanders, the Pacific or all that. Uh, but the blacks who came from Africa, many of them are absorbed into these communities now. And then again, because of the pressure to lighten their skin, many of them are under pressure to marry into uh, non-black families. Yeah. But the, the story of, say, the Zench Rebellion, I don't know if you've heard of that, in, 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 in Iraq and Iran, in the 800 AD, I think that eventually will become a film and it will become a very important part of the narrative of black history. There is no way to understand black history, especially East African history, without knowing about the Shanzi Rebellion. So I, I think the news is coming out and increasingly it's going to become more and more even as, as the internet spreads information and we start learning about this and the curriculum in Africa changes to accommodate the new revelations about African history. Yeah. So I, I think that uh, increasingly information is coming out uh, about slavery, about actually what happened. And we're going to be learning more about it as time uh, passes. Well, let me hear you say, Mountain, Mountain.